If you are considering moving to the Southern Colorado Springs area, this is perfect for you to check out this video. We are gonna go on a property tour and then afterwards we're gonna talk about a few cool things about the area that you should definitely know. So let's go. Okay, we're gonna go take a tour on this property. Sold for 385,000, today is closing day. We got a brand new roof up there, you can see it. Cool purple color on this house. But a crazy thing about the roof is that we negotiated on inspection for the seller to get a brand new roof. So we got that done just before closing, which is awesome for the buyer. Brand new roof, cost just under $12,000. We're here in the living room. Carpet has been cleaned. We remediated some smoke smell that was in here. Kitchen is sweet. Nice little galley kitchen. Lots of counter space, lots of cabinet space as well. And then going outside, three large sheds, nice little patio, good size backyard. We do have air conditioning as well. Okay, now we're going to check out the bedrooms upstairs. There's two bedrooms, one bath. And downstairs is also two bedrooms, one bath. This one's kind of on the smaller side, would be good for an office. And then over in the next room, over here, we have a large primary bedroom with a walk-in master bath that is shared to the upstairs level, we got a closet over there. And then here is the primary bathroom. It does walk straight into the hallway. We do have a nice fireplace area again over here as well. Now going down to the basement, it's kind of a funky layout down here. So you walk in directly to the bedroom. It is a massive bedroom down here in the basement. And there is a bathroom right here on the side of it. We do have new carpet down here, but this is where it gets a little funky. We go directly into this other room. It's not necessarily a bedroom because we don't have any windows anywhere, but there is a closet right there. And that leads directly over here to the furnace room, water heater, or washer and dryer is as well. So kind of a funky layout, but it still does work. We do have an egress window back over here in the washing dryer room and there's an egress window in the other room as well. Kind of a funky thing about this property is that during the inspection, you need to have a correct louvered door right here for any type of doors that are going into any furnace areas. You have proper venting. So you can have a door, you can have a vent on the side or down on the bottom of the door. So, or take the door off is another route. Whichever route you think is best is up to you, but probably having a vent is the best idea for this property. Or in any property. I hope you enjoyed that video of the property tour here in Southern Colorado Springs. Now we're going to talk about the specific location of this property and we're going to look at this map now. You can see the highlighted area is where we are going to be referencing to when we talk about Southern Colorado Springs. This property in particular is on the east side of this highlighted area. And what I like most about the Southern Colorado Springs is that you're very close to Fort Carson and Peterson Air Force Base. Typically, you'll see a lot of the newer homes will be on the east side, closer to the Powers Corridor heading north and south. And these areas will be a lot better for having an investment property if you do decide to invest in this location. Ideally, I would say you would want to try and stick to somewhere up north for investment property because a lot of these homes will need more maintenance and more capital expenditures due to just having low quality care and the quality of tenant that you'll have in this area will probably not be taking good care and keeping up with maintenance on the property. The median home price in this area is only $365,000 when the median home price in the rest of Colorado Springs is at $485,000. You can see that huge price difference because this is where most of the lower cost homes are in the Colorado Springs area. It's not something to avoid, it's just something to be aware of that when you are purchasing in this area is that it's going to be at a lot lower and more affordable price point because of the maintenance that will have to be going on and the overall general location is not the best for having a family and it has lower quality schools as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help anyone that's looking to move or buy a new home here in the Colorado Springs area. And make sure to come to our real estate investor meetup that we have two times every single month for all investors that are trying to get started in the real estate market here in Colorado Springs. See you there.